colors have weight or visual impact. You can think of it like how color balance about one fourth or one third, somewhere between one third and one fourth of orange will have as much impact as the rest of the thing in blue. So just gonna do orange at the top and try to get the two colors to balance in their visual impact. So we'll just bring this across the top. I was so happy to see so many of you. I didn't have to go through all the particulars of, oh, please clean your brush before you dip it in the blue and all of that. I mean, I've, I've gone through painting courses, you know, pedagogical painting courses where, you know, you spend the first day just going through all this and how to pour out the colors, how to get the children to line up and take the picture. You know, we could have spent the whole time these two days doing that, but I wanted to, work with you as adults, you know, and, and have an artistic experience at an adult level. So then you can always, if you're an artist, then you know how to make your lessons artistic. So that, that, that was in the foundation year, usually in the trainings, the first year, you're just doing every kind of art, like drama and sculpting and painting and music and choral work and that sort of thing. Because if you start to learn, live into the world of art, you'll know how to shape your lessons artistically because you know what it feels like. So, all right, so then we'll bring in this blue. I have a third color that I'm holding out on you for a few minutes, so we'll get to that. And we'll bring the blue across. Get a lot of it on there. I'm going fast. Please do take your time. I'm just doing, going fast so that you can uh, get to it yourselves. I'm just bringing these nice sweeping horizontal lines across. Doesn't mean you do it that way all the time. It's just for this painting. This this will lend itself for this painting. What we're going to do, and and as you fill in this whole thing in blue, if I'll let you get started. Clean the brush, dry the brush, and lift out. Didn't much come off there, but dry the brush and turning it into a little sponge. You see. Make a little shape like that. And we'll make these sort of foam on waves shape. And of course, we'll do that on the whole field of blue, but I just, and we'll start to get a place where it'll look like a sea and a horizon with a with a, a sky that's in a complementary color. And it'll be very effective, you'll see in a minute. So, so that's the process, but now just a few things to think of. Uh, there'll be a rows of waves here, a row of waves here, a row of waves here, and as they go up the page, or what looks like farther on the horizon, they get closer and closer and closer together. Shall I do a little bit more, or do you think you know where to go with this? Or you want to start? Oh, oh, do a little bit more. Oh, okay, okay, I'll do a little bit more, so. And we're gonna let that dry. So don't get it too wet, because then I wanna add, when it's dry enough, just like we did yesterday, I wanna layer in some turquoise and you'll see what happens, it's beautiful. Did you like that lecture this morning? I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a Waldorf teacher. That, and if any of you use my live education books, it's exactly the same things I've been trying to get across in those books. They, all the things that he said. Yeah, so that little uh, you know, it, it can vary, you know. And if it's not lifting off, sometimes I can just take a little water and paint the water in, you see there? And then I can dry, 
clean and dry and then come back and I can lift it a little better perhaps. So I'm going to just continue rows of these little wave shapes. happy little trees. <laughs> Last year they were here and I was painting and I got into this kind of mood. <laughs> and then we'll put over here this and then we'll, and they said, oh, you're just like Bob Ross and the guy with the big hair. Like, no. no. <laughs> happy little tree. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. It gave me a chuckle. Okay, yeah, so you see how that's going? And just, we want that to dry, and we're going to shape those more with the turquoise. After it's dry, we'll come in and add some detail to these little wave shapes. So these are wide apart. If I make waves out here, they must be closer together. This is kind of getting into seventh grade perspective, but you know, you can handle it. Do you want the bottom to be white or no? No, no, I, I, I just, okay. you know, for the, in the interest of time to oh, get you going, I... So I'm using now my detail brush. This isn't quite dry enough, but just here's the crest and the top part of the wave. I can kind of uh, get shadow behind it and further define it by putting that on it and then let it blend into the ultramarine blue. So that here's the, the, the hill and here's the valley, shadows in the valley you see and then I can also from the bottom put a hard edge on one side and a soft edge on the other so here's like I'll just take this in and make some sorts of I don't know, little squiggly line is what it looks like Japanese waves, you know, a little bit, but each one, each of you will have your own sort of stylistic, I'm sure. Okay, that's that's all I wanted to show you. You can do that on your waves. Just see how it starts to look more like a wave now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>